What's up, good people? It's your girl, Joy Lene, and I'm back with a new video. I know, this one's long overdue. I've been waiting for this myself, but if you guys remember correctly, I started a series back in February featuring Black-owned makeup brands, and even though it's not February, we can still celebrate these Black-owned makeup brands, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. So today, I'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup featuring Juvia's Place. So I'm gonna show you guys all of the Juvia's Place makeup that I have, and I'm also gonna beat this face with all Juvia's Place products. Before we get started, go ahead and tap the subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications, and follow me on Instagram at pure.joylifestyle. And excuse the click clacking in the background, that would be my pup. All right guys, I'll give you a minute to do that, and then let's go and get started. All right guys, so let's jump right in. First things first, I'm going to prime my face. I already did all of my skincare, and I'm gonna start off with my Lip Bar Primer. Lip Bar came out with a whole bunch of new products, and this is one of them, and I have really been loving it. This is called the Skin Set Primer with rose water. It blurs my pores, it'll smooth my skin, and what I love most about it is that it's really tacked. It's really tacky. Um, it just, which I love because it allows all your makeup to like stick on your face. And it really reminds me of, you know, like the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, how it just like your face and you just feel like all your makeup is gonna stick to it. it gives you like that tight, sticky feeling. This, ladies and gentlemen, is that. So I love, 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 love that. And again, this is not a Juvia's Place product. However, it is black owned. So I will feature it. Bam, there you go. And for those of you who don't know, I am a Lip Bar affiliate, so if you use the link that I provided down below, you guys can save 10% or head over to thelipbar.com and use PureJoy10 in order for you guys to save. If you're going to be shopping, you might as well save money and do it the cheapest way possible. I'm just saying. Alrighty, next up. I am going to color correct, and I'm going to color correct because this pimple, I don't know what happened, y'all. I, I wash my makeup brushes, I change my pillowcases, I drink a whole bunch of water, I have a skincare routine, but somehow I got gut. I got gut. So I'm gonna cover up um, some of my dark spots, my, my scar, my nose, and all that kind of stuff, and then I'm gonna come in with my Juvia's Place Foundation. And the reason I'm going to cover correct because this Juvia's Place Foundation is full coverage. I haven't used it yet, but I hear that it is full coverage. So. I'm going to color correct and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I've color corrected. You've seen the orange places. So that's why I look crazy. So this is Juvia's Place, their foundation. It says apply a product with a wet beauty sponge or synthetic makeup brush with a sweeping and buffing motion all over the place. This is the color Compala, color shade 340. I hope this is my shade. We will see. I always like to shake up my foundations. And it says it is a velvety matte foundation, full coverage. Um, I'm gonna place it on the back of my hand first. I always do that with my foundations, just to be on the safe side. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but look at that, that is thick. That is not watery or anything at all. That is a nice and thick consistency. Look at that. Wow, okay. So let me do a few dots on my face. And let's see. Okay, let me bring you guys in a little bit closer for color matching. All right, I'm back up close and personal, and this is the foundation. So it's very full coverage, but it's it's a little dark. It's a little, it's a little. No, that's not a good like. I don't know how to. It's just it's dark. I don't know if you guys can tell. I can tell, but it's definitely a little bit too dark. Maybe one layer would have been better. But I'm going to fix it with some concealer and brighten it up a little bit. Hopefully that'll help you out a little bit. I have two concealers here from Juvia's Place. I have a liquid version, color 16. And this is really, really, this, it looks like a lot. Like this amount in here is what? 10 milliliters, 0.34 fluid ounces. Let me test it against another concealer. That one doesn't say. Let me see what my NARS. My NARS has 0.22 ounces, okay. So this has a 12, 12 more ounces, okay. That's not bad. So actually a decent 
amount and then this is the color here for concealing and you know usually you can conceal with one two three colors later and then I also have like a stick concealer this is in the color Dominica and again the same amount but if you see compared to this this one's a little bit darker and again ones for brightening ones I might use for well, one to cover and then one to kind of you know highlight so this will probably be my covering one that I'll probably highlight with this one. And sometimes I just never know necessarily like the undertones of the concealer. Is it going to be red? Is it going to be warm? What exactly is it going to be? So we'll see. Um, I don't know if this, now I'm looking at, I don't know if this color is too dark. I'm looking at my mirror. Or if it's just, I'm not used to the full coverage of it all. Because like it's not dangerously, you know, miscolored. I think I might let me let me play with it and then we'll get back to that so I'm going to conceal under my eyes I'll tell you what I don't need to conceal much because it covered up my bags okay so my bags be down here my bags be bagging they be sagging but you know not so much oh I like the way this glides on again I've never used this one before either um I order I be ordering stuff and sometimes I don't you know get a chance to use it because of uh, being inside but we're trying out new products. I'm not going to blame it all on being inside. But again, just a little bit of concealer. And I'm going to go ahead and take my brush. I love angled, not brush, my uh, blender, my beauty sponge. I love sponge like this because it gets right in those grooves when I conceal. And this is an equal, tie, equal uh, tools plant me blender. And I always make sure I look up. No creases here, okay? We don't want any creases, ladies and gentlemen. No creases. Blend that out. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. I like how easily that blended out. I like this consistency. Not too bad. And I put some on my nose just again just to help cover up the scar. And I love using foundations and concealers together for the same companies because I feel like they're just formulated very well for each other. So most times they mix and they sit well on one another. So I really like that. Like I imagine that this concealer would sit really, really well on this foundation. And it does, and it blends out very well. And again, I'm gonna look up, okay. Yes, I like, I like. And then I'm gonna highlight with this one I'm gonna do on my forehead do all the places on my chin you know where the light will naturally hit you here oh oh this one has a strong scent to it do a little bit down my nose grab a little bit more do my my cheekbone area okay and I'm gonna blend this out my tribal and I'm, I know I'm gonna put a little bit under my under eye just to highlight some more and have it look all the way even bring this over my nose oh, I always feel like I need to go to war I got my war paint on and I'm going to blend all of this out. Actually, I'm going to let it sit underneath my eyes. When you sit with liquid under your eyes, it'll give you more coverage. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my other sponge. This one is from Beauty Bakery, a black owned brand. And it's a little damp. Now I'm going to go ahead and just blend all of this out. Yeah, give me that highlight. Because you know, I'm in Florida. And when I go outside, I need that sun to hit me nice and correctly and just be beaming just be glowing okay that's what your girl needs so i'm going to go ahead and speed this up so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me literally blend out everything Alrighty, I set my makeup, did my eyebrows, filled them in a little bit, but now for the hardest part. Normally it's my lips, but not today, because I already know what lip color I'm going to do. It's going to be my eye color. Juvia's Place makes the best 
eyeshadow palettes, okay? They're so pigmented, they're fun, and the packaging is just amazing. So I'm gonna show you guys my palette. This here is the Warriors. Is it the Warriors? Yeah, the Warrior. And it's a lot of golds and browns. Ugh, so pretty. I haven't used this one yet. I got this as a present. <laughs> I don't wanna mess it up, it looks so good. Um, and then I have the Warrior 2, which I also got as a present. Shout out to you, sis. And again, I like these palettes, um, but since spring is around the corner, I do wanna go for a lighter look. And then I have here the Zulu. And as you can see here, this one gets used a lot. I love this color. It's like a two-tone shimmer kind of color. It's super duper gorgeous. It's just fun and it's colorful. This represents everything summer. Everything summer. You guys will see this a lot in the summer. Just know that. And let's see what else I have. And then I have the Nomad. And I love this one. This is great for fall. This is exactly when I use it. So it's almost like, you know, I got a palette for all seasons. And then I have this mini palette and I really like it because it's great for when you're on vacation or when you're just traveling. It's nice and small and compact. I mean, compare it to this size or compare it to this size. This is definitely a lot easier to, you know, pack with your stuff, with your luggage. So I like it. I have yet to use it. This is the berries. I have yet to use that. I did stick my finger in there. You guys can probably see my fingerprint, but you know what? I think I'm going to bust it out today. I think I am. And uh, yeah, so grab your brushes, let's go, cause we're gonna do a look. You need a good crease brush, a brush to pack it on with, a good blending brush and a shader. So grab your brushes, I'm gonna go get mine and then we're gonna go and get started. So first things first, I'm gonna go in with my crease color and I'm gonna use this. Only thing I wish about Julie's Place is I wish that the colors had names on them, but I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's in purple, I don't even, it's like the perfect berry and pink color. Like I just, I love it. Tap off any of my excess. And again, this is super duper pigmented guys. So don't grab too much cause you're gonna be looking like, it's a lot, it's a lot. And I'm just gonna go in on my crease. Oh, look at, look. I mean, come on, come on. Look at this color and I, I don't know if you guys can see just how lightly like I'm stroking back and forth on my crease. Just, ooh, whew, this is pretty. And always tap off your excess and go in and the same thing that you did on one eye, you're going to do on the other. Oh, this is just so stinking pretty. What a pretty color. I love pinks in general, but I never really experiment with pink eyeshadows because I just feel like it's just very noticeable and it's for like a going out and not really going anywhere. But uh, even if I sit in the house today, baby, we're gonna do this. Oh, I like this a lot. I'm gonna just continue to stroke back and forth a little bit. Oh yes, I like, I like. Okay, so then I'm gonna, do something a little bit unconventional. I'm gonna go in on this side. Let me grab, do I want another brush? I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna go in on the corner with this darker color here, this deep purple. And I'm only gonna do like three strokes, tap off my excess. And I'm literally going in on my corner. Oh, again, this color. It's gonna create a nice contrast. And I'm just lightly going in. And I'm not going all the way over, just a little bit. Yeah, see I didn't tap off the excess there. You can really see the color pay off. And I'm here, I'm gonna go up into my pink just a little bit. And I'm gonna repeat on this eye. What you do to one eye, you need to do to the other. Yes, okay. Eyeshadow always looks crazy while you're doing it, but the end result is just amazing. And I'm looking at it, I'm actually gonna take this purple over just a little bit more, just a tad more. There we go, like right there. And make sure you're putting it like all in your lid as well. And do the same thing to this eye. 
putting it all into my crease, all my lid. Oh yeah. And again, it'll look crazy, but I promise you we're gonna blend it out and make it look nice and even so that we're not out here looking crazy in these streets. And then this shimmer color, the one on the bottom right here, the more purple shimmer color, we're gonna take that and that's what's gonna go on our lids. So I'm gonna take, what is this, my small shader brush? Yeah, so my small shader brush, that's what I'm gonna take and use. Oh no, I just dug my finger in it somehow. And I'm gonna go over that with my on my lid. Oh, do you see that glitter? Oh, that's really pretty. It's actually a little bit brighter than I thought it was gonna be. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Hmm, do I wanna go this bright? It's kind of bright. It's kind of bright. It's a little bright. Let me try my other, my other glitter color. Let's see with how that comes out. Okay, that one might be a little bit more my speed. But you know what? We we in a spring mood. We're gonna go right back to that same color, the darker one. We're gonna be potent today, okay? We're gonna be potent. We're gonna be poking out. Yes. Yes. Yes, honey. You see, that is a pretty, pretty shade. Pretty, pretty shade. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the other eye. I don't know what they do differently to their uh, eyeshadow palettes, but the pigment just be pop. pop. The pigments be popping. And I just love this color palette because it's just so girly. I love how girly this is. Oh, this is super duper pretty. And I'm gonna go back here. And again, just make sure that my eyes are even, make sure that they both have the same color on the lid, same color in the crease and everything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit more here towards the center, just to even them out. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Now that they're both even, I'm gonna go ahead and with my blender and we're just gonna blend all of this. No, we don't want any lines of demarcation. So I'm gonna blend in here, my crease. I'm gonna blend at the edge of it. I'm gonna blend where the two colors mix. I'm gonna blend all of that out. So it just creates a nice seamless transition so it doesn't look like one, two, three colors. We're gonna blend, continue to blend, and we're gonna blend in nice circular motions again. I don't claim to be an expert as it pertains to the eyeshadow, but I can make it work and I know what works good for me. So if these tips are helpful to you, then by all means, please use them. Okay, so now that we have blended, I noticed that that purple color that we went in with faded a little bit. So I am gonna go back in and I'm going to add some more of that deeper purple color just on the edge, just a little bit. It's a good contrast color, so I'm trying to get some contrast going on there. Okay, it's pretty. This is really pretty. And Juvie's Place is always having sales, so make sure you guys check out their page and um, sign up for the text messages and the emails. It may be a lot, but they're always having a sale. I don't think I've bought one product from Juvie's Place full price. Not foundation, not lip gloss, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Alrighty, and now that I have that, again, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. And if you look, you'll see more of the purple shade coming through. And then of course, in order to finish off any eye look, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some black eyeliner and add some lashes. An eye look is not complete until you get some lashes, so I'll be right back, guys. Add your eyeliner on as well, add some black liner. This is way too dark for um, a brown liner, but add some black liner and some lashes and I'm back up in this thing. All right, so I put on my lashes. I did 3D lashes today, so these are like fa fa foom, okay? Give me lots of volume. Um, I am gonna do something on the bottom lash line. I haven't decided exactly what yet. We'll get there shortly. But I do wanna go ahead and use my Juvia's Place highlighter, and this is the Royal T2. It's a loose highlighter, and this is pretty gold color. And since it's loose, I don't wanna just open it up for you guys and have it spill all out. But if you can see up close, it's just like that. It's good and loose. Let me 
get it with my brush here. Okay. And just a little small dab I'm gonna put on my nose. And when I say small, I mean very small, just lightly on my nose. A little glow. Okay. Down the middle a little bit. Again, nice and light. I'm smoothing out my finger. I do a little bit above my cute on my lip, that cupid's bow. Okay. Put a little bit more on my nose so we can show up some more. And then I'm gonna put some on my cheek with my larger brush. Again, since this is loose, you gotta be really, really careful. Cause uh, the colors will get loose on you. I always knock the excess off on like a paper towel or something. Oh, you see that? Look at that, just faint, 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 faint. Touch and it's already going far. Ooh, look at that, put that right there. It's a pretty color, it's like the perfect gold, pretty flex. And I'm gonna put some right here on the other side. And I'm gonna blend it in some the other side of my brush. I put it right above my blush, right on my cheekbone. And you see this just this nice golden just that it gives me. And it does the same for me here. Oh Lord, got it all in my eye. Oh, wait a minute. Blend that out some more so we don't see the, we don't need to see the streaks. We just want to see the, the flex. Okay. But do you see that nice shimmer? Like, look at that. That's a really pretty gold shimmer. I like, I like, I'm gonna save that cause I might do something in the corner with that later on. But right now I want to do an underline eye. Hmm. Something on my lash line, not my under eye, but my lash line. And I'm thinking since I have, I think I'm gonna do this, this top color here. The, the perfect berry and pink color that I like. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna just go in on my lash line right underneath it. some more on there oh yeah that's pretty she's pretty and do it on my other eye I like to be as close to my lash line as possible so that it doesn't look too crazy and again I'm not going all the way I'm just about to go just halfway halfway and I'm actually gonna take a q-tip and just scoop up any excess that I don't want. Okay. I really want a black liner with this. I don't want to use my liquid liner, but it's the one that I have available, but I'm going to do a black eye line. Ooh. You see that? Look at that. It's pretty. All right, let me go get my pencil liner because this is going to get all in my eye. Please hold. Okay, so I got a regular pencil liner. That'll work a lot better. And again, I'm just gonna fill in my lash line. Only on the line where I have the pink, so I'm just gonna match that, and I'm not gonna go all the way to the corner, just halfway. I'm gonna follow the pink line again. Follow that pink line. And I try not to pull too hard, because, you know, I don't want wrinkles under my eye. We try to protect the skin at all costs. Um, woo, yes. Right there, I like, I like. And I'm gonna go in with my mascara. Let me use this one. And then just hit my bottom lashes, <coughs> just to give it a little bit more depth. Oh yeah, that's pretty. She's cute. Let me do the other eye, I'll be right back. Okay. So, yes, mascara. You see how it's just it's giving me drama? I wanted something softer, but I'm just going a little crazy. So one last thing to pop off this eye look is I'm gonna take some of my highlighter and I'm going to put it in my inner corner, like in the tear duct area. Let me now spill it. So right in here. 
inner corner highlight. That might be too light. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Oh yeah, there it goes. That's pretty. That's pretty. And I'm going to also take that and do that up top. And be careful not to get it too, you know, into your makeup because you want to keep that pink. But just enough to kind of have that gold and that pink kind of uh, mesh together. I like, I like a lot. This might be one of my uh, favorite eye looks that I've created thus far, guys. I'm a big fan of this. Yes. Oh yes. Okay. So now that we're finishing up these eyes here, we are all good to go. We're set. I'm going to set my face. Shake this up. Mm. Let that dry down. And while that's drying, I'm going to decide and pick on a color that I want for my lip. And I had my mind made up that I was gonna use my nude color. Usually when I have a bold eye, I like to do a nude lip, but since I'm already in the bold family, I feel like I could just say bold. I don't know. So I have muted, which is a really, really pretty nude color. It's very, very nude, very neutral brown lip that would just go well with this look. But I also have this purple gloss. She's Royal, it's one of the new launches that they had in the past few months. Why well, tell you she's pretty? She's super pretty and she's super pigmented. I mean, it's a deep royal purple. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Excuse the ash, I just washed my hair like 10 times. That's pretty. But I'm wondering if it's gonna be a little bit too dark. Hmm. I think it might be a little bit too dark. <sighs> Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to align my lips. The liner is not important today because you know we're all about black owned uh, makeup products today. Again, Juby's Place is black owned. And uh, I noticed that all their stuff ships from Jersey. That's, that must be where their hub is. I'm from Jersey. Shout out to you, Juby's Place. Actually, a few black owned brands are from, I've been based in Jersey. Um, Prime Beauty, as well as Minted Cosmetics. All of their products come from Jersey. There must be a hub there somewhere. Must be a hub. And I like to overline my lips, so that's what you'll see me doing. I'm lining my lips like halfway down, but I promise you it's gonna look good. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with this nude color. Again, this is called Muted. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. She's very pretty. I feel like we need a gloss though. I don't have another Juvie's Place gloss other than this purple, and this purple won't do it justice. Let's see. Let me, what if I try my, hmm. No, I don't wanna do that. I do have a Juvie's Place lip liner, I forgot to mention, it just didn't go with this look. I needed a brown for this look. And I have like all reds and wines and Juvie's Place lip liners. Their lip liners are bomb though. They glide on very easily and they don't break easily, which I love. Nope, I actually think I'm gonna keep this lip as is. No gloss, so let me go change my outfit so I can show you guys the final look. Look at that, the sun came out just in time for me to give you guys a final look. So, I am in love with this look. It came out really, really, really nice. Again, this look featured all Juvia's Place products, foundation, concealer, highlighter, eyeshadow, lipstick, all Juvia's Place. And your girl is very, very pleased. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at this. I had to change up my clothes. I put on something pink. Ooh, hold on, you wanna see all of that? To match this look. And again, like I said, I'm a big fan. Love, love, love it. Hey 
Hey all, Joy Lene here, and I just want to take the time to ask you to do a huge favor for me. I'm interested in becoming a member of the Sephora Squad for 2021, but in order to do so, I need your help. If you wouldn't mind, if you could please go to the link in my description box and leave a testimonial for me on Sephora's site would be greatly appreciated. And if I've influenced you in any way, if you guys like my testimonials, my reviews, my product recommendations, my videos, or anything in general, just please go ahead and leave a comment about it. It could be short, it could be long. Any positive reviews are appreciated. The more testimonials, the better for me. Again, I really appreciate all of your help in advance and all the love that I've received thus far. I appreciate all the support and I love you guys for rocking with me. So again, the link will be down below in my description box or if you follow me on Instagram, it's also in the link in my bio. I appreciate it and I love you guys. Thank you. Dear.